Hi, I'm Dr. Pilar Bilbao, Head of Clinical Operations at Clinabel. Today I wanted to discuss with you the relevance of the recently released results from the CUV-151 study. The DNA repair program is set out to establish whether alpha melanotide and other melanocortins can reduce and repair the photo damage, the skin damage induced by ultraviolet radiation. If we were to show this clinically, confirming what we have seen in the lab, then we would be able to unlock the potential for melanocortins to assist individuals at the highest risk of UV-induced skin damage. We have now released complementary results from the first two studies of the DNA repair program. They give strong indication to date that we are achieving what we hoped. Today, I want to provide further detail on how we are building a dossier of evidence on the use of melanocortins to prevent photo damage. As you know, photo damage is the first step towards skin cancers. Without the photo damage, the majority of skin cancers would not occur. The interaction between ultraviolet radiation and skin is multifaceted. Skin cells respond in a number of different ways to UV, often to protect from further damage. Some of these responses are genuine indicators of photo damage, which can be quantified. However, there are other parameters which provide supporting evidence requiring clinical appraisal. To succeed in this program, we gather all the data and then we focus on the evidence which answers the key questions for safety and clinical benefits for patients. We then ensure we replicate this evidence in control conditions as much as possible. To put it in context, Clinovel is the first company worldwide to demonstrate this in patients and man. Fundamental to the program is the identification and quantification of the DNA damage and repair. In preclinical work, melanocortins have been shown to assist in DNA repair and the clinical conditions to prove the reduction in damage and induction of DNA repair, it's unavoidable to inflict minimal and localized photo damage in study participants. We do this in a controlled and ethical manner, minimizing the damaged region and then excising uh, UV exposed skin in a biopsy to perform analysis. Then we can look at the amount of damage that has been repaired. A primary focus are photo products, CPDs. They distort the DNA helix. Uh, CPDs uh, do repair over time through intrinsic processes such as uh, NER, nucleotide excision repair. We've seen this very clearly in CUV 151 by radiating the skin and then taking biopsies at various time points. Both before and after the treatment with alpha melanotide, we can quantify the amount of uh, damage incurred, then the rate of repair and the overall impact of the treatment. Now we have consistent results from XP patients and healthy volunteers showing a reduction of CPDs. The data indicate that alpha melanotide treatment results in an overall decrease in damage and a potential uptick in repair mechanisms shortly after the damage is incurred. This data also is novel in so far that the effect is being seen just after a single dose of the drug, whereas earlier studies captured data after repeat higher doses. There are other measures uh, of DNA damage and repair that we have seen in the XP program, which are still subject to analysis in the um, Healthy Volunteer Study, in particular gamma H2AX, which forms after single and double um, strand breaks, and P53, which is a protein which is responsible to, st to stop the division or cycle of cells, allowing them to repair the damage, but also allowing cell death whenever necessary. The initial results from the XP patients indicate that a melanotide treatment has had an impact on the photomarkers, but we will generate more data to incorporate in our regulatory dossier. In addition to the direct DNA damage and repair evaluations, there are clinical measures which lend further support to the ongoing program. As spoken in some depth previously about the MED, the minimal dose of UV, which is required to induce skin erythema or sunburn, which is a clear marker of photo damage. We've shown that erythema in the skin can decrease following alpha melanotide treatment in both seroderma pigmentosum patients and healthy volunteers. We also consistently see an increase in melanin density, which is the, the visible skin bronzing and defense response following alpha melanotide treatment. Not only this is a sign that the drug is working as expected, but we know that melanin plays a photoprotective role 
it reflects, it refracts and it absorbs the light to prevent the damage to the nucleus of the skin cells. The results published so far from the DNA repair program have focused on five metrics. Melanin significantly increased following one implant of alpha melanotide in light-skinned individuals, but also in XP patients. MED increased in light-skinned individuals and XP patients. CPDs decreased significantly in light-skinned individuals and decreased in XP patients. And gamma H2AX and P53 increased in the XPC patients, and analyses are ongoing in the light skin individuals. There is further information to come with studies ongoing and studies planned. The results from the CUV151 study indicate that intervention with alpha melanotide gives a photoprotective and potential reparative DNA response only a few days after alpha melanotide treatment, which is much earlier than what we have seen before. We can replicate key measures of DNA damage and repair in both severely affected XP patients and the general population. This data not only supports our clinical work to pursue a marketing authorization for the use of alpha melanotide in XP patients who are at high risk of developing multiple skin cancers in their lifetime, but also for our photocosmetic product lines. We look forward to updating you on the next set of results in the near future.